I ask the captain for some more material, you would give me some? What do you dress as a governess need? Oh, not for me, for play clothes, for the children. The children don't play, they march. Oh, <laughs> surely you don't approve of that. Ever since the captain lost his poor wife, he's been running this house as if he was a lot of his ships again. Whistles, orders, no more music, no more laughing, nothing that reminds him of her. Even the children. Oh, but that's so wrong. Oh, well. Uh, how do you like your new room? There'll be new drapes uh, on the windows. But these drapes are just fine. Nevertheless, new ones have been ordered. But I really don't need any. Oh, oh well, good night. Oh, Frau do you think if I ask the captain for more material tomorrow? Uh, the captain is leaving for Vienna tomorrow. Oh, I see. Well, how long will he be gone for? Well, that depends. Last time he visited a Frau, uh, Frau uh, Schrader, he stayed for over a month. Oh. I shouldn't be saying this to you, but um, if you ask me, the captain is thinking very seriously of marrying the woman before the summer's over. Oh, well, that's wonderful. The children would have a new mother. Oh, well, good night. Good night. Lord God, now I know why you've sent me here, to help prepare these children for a new mother and to help make them a happy family in thy sight. God bless the captain and Liesel. God bless Friedrich and Louisa. God bless... Gita and Marta and Gretel and, ooh, I forgot the other boy. What's his name? Well, God bless, what's his name? And God bless Mother Re the Reverend Mother and all the sisters at Nonward Abbey. And God bless Sister Roberta and Sister Margareta. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us here for this day. Thank you for my time. And now, dear God, about Liesel, <laughs> help her to know that I am her friend, and help her to tell me what she has been up to. Are you going to tell on me? Shh! Help her that I might guide her footsteps in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out for a walk around the grounds, and someone closed the doors earlier than usual. So when I saw your window open, you're not going to tell Father on me, are you? Hmm. How in the world did you get up here? That's how we always got into this room to play tricks on the governesses. Louisa can make it with a whole jar of spiders in her pants. Oh! <laughs> Liesel, were you out walking all by yourself? <laughs> you know, if we wash that out tonight, no one will notice it. Here, take this, put this on, and you can put this in the tub to soak. And then when you're done, you can come on back out to the bed and we'll have a nice little chat. I told you today I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do. Green meadows, green 
kids always win. Fine, let's think of something else to play. I know, let's play two country ball. No, we don't have enough kids for that. Let's play something else. What's two country ball? Well, we pick two teams. And each team is a country. And then we throw a ball at each other and try to get someone out. But if you catch the ball when it's thrown at you, whoever we'll threw the ball at you is out. That sounds like fun. Fun? I think that's so confusing. What if the ball is hit at one? Then what happens when no one catches it? How do you know what country you're from? What if you get out? Well, then you go to jail. Jail? I don't want to go to jail. I'm only 10 years old. <laughs> You don't actually go to jail, you just stand in the middle. In the middle while everyone is throwing balls at you? I don't think so. <laughs> Relax, it'll be fun. But we need lots of kids to play. I know, why don't we go ask the Von Trap kids to play? Oh, the Von Trap kids? They're not allowed to play. Yeah, all they do is march. <laughs>